We were at the tourist pond. Her father died. It's so sad. <laughs> Sorry, Koba. I didn't mean to. Koba! Hey, Munda. Oh, big hug. Thank you, Munda. Baraka, can you tell them about Baba? Okay. Uh, how much do you guys know about our Baba? Not Munda's Baba. Ours. Okay, then. I'll start at the beginning. We never really talk about it, but you know, there was a really bad war back in our home country and we had to run away. I was just a baby, smaller than Wenda is now, so I don't remember it. But Koba was three and he remembers. Mm -hmm. So we crossed the border and we had to stay at a camp, a refugee camp. What's a refugee? Shh. Amani, don't interrupt. It's okay. Um, a refugee is someone who had to leave the country to escape from something bad and try to find a new home. So we were refugees. I guess we are refugees, but we're Kokotoans now too. Mama says we have a new life here and we should be looking forwards towards our bright futures, not looking backwards at the sadness of the past. Oh, wow. So your family lived in a, a camp for refugees? Mama and Baraka and I did, but Baba... He never made it. He was supposed to join us there at the camp, but we, we... We never heard from him again. Oh. But it wasn't so bad in the camp. It was kind of like a town. We lived in a tent, but other people had built houses and Barack and I had friends there. And we played all the time. Apparently I was the best dragonfly chaser in the whole camp. But mama, she was always waiting, waiting in line for the bags of food that give us, waiting her turn to fill our buckets with water, waiting for Baba to come, just waiting and waiting. But then we got resettled and she said we wouldn't have to wait anymore. Resettled? Yeah, because our uncle is a citizen here. He got us the paperwork to leave the camp and live with him. And then after a few years, we moved here to Kokotoa to start a new life. But we've still never heard from Baba. We're sorry, Koba. You don't have to talk about it. Maybe we should play some football. That always makes you happy. No thanks, Kidochu. It's actually helped to finally talk to you guys about Baba. I remember his big strong arms and and how he used to tickle me until I'd fall over laughing. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Just like that, Mwenda. <laughs> Thanks for being here for me, guys. But what else can we do for you, Koba? You don't have to do anything else. It's been nice having you here. Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yay! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. Only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today. The only place you can watch, sing, read, play, and learn with all your favorite Obongo characters. What are you waiting for? Available in English, Kiswahili, French, Hausa, and more.